Senior Living on Location is produced by Senior Living Media, celebrating seniors in our community. He's 82 years of age and he still continues to pursue his passion for photography. We can even go out on a limb here and say this man is perhaps Canada's premier living photographer who currently resides in Victoria, BC. He is Ted Grant. Perhaps the name doesn't ring a bell, but maybe his work might. Ted Grant is the award-winning photographer behind the famous images of Pierre Trudeau. Well, what happened there, quite frankly, when I am shooting, say, we'll call it a personality, um, I happen, I try to stay as close as I can within security limits. Uh, I started down the stairs ahead of, of Prime Minister Trudeau, and then I heard people starting to laugh, and I turned around, there he was, the camera came up like this, I did a quick focus, click, that was it, and I got two more frames away, those were throwaways, he was already nearly on top of me, so I ran down the stairs outside, Meanwhile, all the other media people, they're going crazy because they're outside and they see me, the only photographer who got that photograph. His career spans more than six decades as a photojournalist, capturing news, sporting events, and important people throughout the world for Canada's newspapers and magazines. I always had a feeling for photography from even when I was a little kid. So when Irene and I got married on, on October 15th, 1949, um, our, our birthdays, the next birthday in 1950, and May, hers, May 25th, mine, May 27th, uh, she said, what would you like for your birthday? And I said, I would like a camera. And so she did. She bought me a little 35 millimeter, well, today we might call it a point and shoot kind of camera. But really it was a plastic box with a little lens on it in those days. And uh, away I went. And on September the 17th, 1951, my first picture was published in the Ottawa Citizen and it had Ted Grant under it. And that was the beginning. Right there, I knew that I wanted to be a photographer, period. That was it. Throughout his career, Ted has added a few other elements to his illustrious vocation. He's not just a photojournalist, but author and international lecturer as well, and he's still active in these areas, even today. We asked, what is it that makes him so special, or at least his pictures? When I'm shooting something, I don't do any analysis or anything else. I just simply go, oh, gee, look at that. Camera comes up, and I go like that, and that's it. There's no thought process in it. Mine has always comes from my heart. It comes from my heart and my soul and how I react and how I feel it in my tummy. Uh, and that's how it works. So many people, they begin to analyze. And then the moment is lost. In 1991, Ted Grant was presented the Lifetime Achievement Award by the Canadian Association of Photographers and Artists in Communications. Four years ago, the National Archives of Canada dedicated a compilation titled Ted Grant Photo Collection within its National Photographic Collection. Ted handed over 280,000 images, illustrating his unique understanding and vision of Canada's history. There are also another 100,000 images at the National Gallery of Canada in Ottawa, making the total collected works by a single photographer the largest in Canadian history. Oh, I was extremely honored. Uh, I mean, it was, and, and I, I never looked at it as in, as in something big in that sense. I, I had my assignments. I had the good fortune that, that I did a lot of photography for the National Film Board documentaries. Ted is extremely passionate about photography and carries his camera with him everywhere he goes. He says digital photography has come 45 years too late as he reminisces about his days lugging around thousands of rolls of film on international photo assignments. But there's one thing that has remained from the past that he practices in the present, and that is black and white photography. Well, when you, when you photograph people in color, you photograph their clothes. The color of the clothing, the surroundings and what have you, captures the eye, will go to bright reds or whatever colors are brightest that goes there without actually looking at the content. Whereas when you shoot in black and white, you photograph their souls. Ted Grant has published eight books, three of them dedicated to the work of medical professionals. 
In 2003, Doctor's work, The Legacy of Sir William Osler, was republished, followed in 2004 by Women in Medicine, a celebration of their work, co-authored with Sandy Carter. His inspiration for this venture came, well, let him tell you. Yeah, I, unfortunately, in 1979, I had a, had, uh, a, uh, a situation called trigeminal neuralgia. That's where the nerves in the sides of your face become, uh, go out of whack or, or whatever. And so I had to go in and they were going to drill in through the back of my head here. And so while I'm lying on the table in the operating room and they are prepping me, I'm lying there going, oh my God, what a great place to shoot. Meanwhile, I, I am in just horrendous pain. I mean, this is, I just almost want to die, but that was on my mind. There were the lights, the people doing things, and you know, all this action going on. And when I got out and I could finally get back to properly shooting and seeing it properly, uh, the surgeon who operated on me, I asked him if I could spend a week with him just to document what he and his team did. So he said, oh, sure, Ted, great, anytime. So I spent a week with him, and it was like that was the beginning. He said that being in the operating room didn't bother him in the least. In fact, he found it fascinating. The only images that make him break down, though. Uh, I've seen lots of things. I have photographed quite a number of babies being born. I cry every time. In fact, some of the photographs in the medical books include pictures of his grandchildren being born. At 82, Ted is as active as ever. He's currently doing the photography for an ongoing column in the Homes and Living section of the Times Colonist. Not only that, he's also working on updating a book, the title still a work in progress, Victoria As I See It. We won't mention that he also works out with a personal trainer. Ted Grant continues to work and take photos for fun. He doesn't consider photography to be work and lives for it. I'm only in my 83rd year and I expect to go on for a long time yet. <laughs>